Hey there, dear friends. Boy, have I got a sore jaw plumb up to here with this big extraction I had yesterday. I'm dwindling down to hardly any teeth to chew on and everything. Working on getting my partials, so please forgive my appearance and everything. Um, but what I wanted to share just for a minute here this morning is about this going live um thing stuff and i really just want to share as far as i know what my intentions and motives are about it before the lord um it seems like that's the growing thing to do is have a live and i got to do that yesterday and i'm inexperienced in it but what I really loved about it was the interaction was just real time. And it just felt so much more intimate than when I just talked to you this way. Uh, I could get an exchange. I could get a comment. And more people could gather together in accordance with the same goal. And that's what I want to share that my intention is. Um... Like I said, as far as I know, in good conscience before the Lord, to uh, engage in that kind of thing. And I've got one scheduled for Saturday, that's tomorrow, at 7 something, 7.30 maybe. And two, I've got a lot of friends here on YouTube, and I do not want to present as any kind of taking away from what they're doing and stuff like that. But here's what I do believe. The Lord has assigned certain people uh, to come into our life and out of our life. Uh, I have gleaned from this person and that person and that person over time, you know. Um, there is no competition in this and there is no it doesn't have to be um, animosity or anything negative going on. Because what we don't want to do is step on each other trying to get up here for what reason, I don't know. I have nobody in mind when I say this. And I, I'm not saying anything for you who might be listening that that's what's going on. I, I just understand the human flesh and how, how it's driven sometimes. And um, anyways, for me, uh, I want to do this and see how it goes. And... The thing that I want to, well, I feel like I'd be focusing on, that's what I want to say in case you want to come, is we have been getting to know the Lord, haven't we? We've been studying this word, some of us for years. But I really, like I said the other day, felt something I haven't felt in a long time, and that is excitement. I've been going through the driest wilderness for so long now. and But the dark cloud that has been over me for so long parted and a little ray of sunshine came through. And the excitement is about like-mindedness out here. I can see as I listen to some YouTubers that I've listened to for quite some time and just been taking what I hear or what I observe to the Lord um, to change their mind, maybe. That's the thing we can do if we notice wrong thinking or somebody's a little off here and there. We all can be. Just take it to the Lord. There is no need to put them in some sort of spotlight and point our finger at them point out anything negative we see in them and 
say that we're doing it all in the name of love and defending the gospel, the Lord is very well capable of standing up for himself. He has a great plan, and we all have a part in it. And every one of these people out here, no matter what role they're playing, he said the deceived and the deceiver are in my hands. He's in charge. He said the wicked were created for the day of trouble. He has a plan. And um, we have to be very careful about judging other people who are servants of the Lord, though we don't know which way the Lord might be using them. There are vessels of wood and clay and gold and different things the Lord has made, each one to serve its own purpose. He said some vessels were created for honor. But some vessels were created for dishonor. And the Lord loves the work of his hands. And his tender mercies are over all. The righteous, the unrighteous. The just, the unjust. And what I would like to gather together to do for anybody that would be interested it's like I said, as we've been growing with the Lord, we have a zeal for Him. We have faith. And now let us go on to have action attached to the faith. And how do we do that? And what is that? And asking the Lord to help us overcome, rather Him overcome in us, these things that are setting themselves up in us, to keep us from growing to the full stature of Christ. That we would be effective in our service unto the Lord. You know? We want to be effective. How many more days do we have on this earth, y'all? We don't know what tomorrow will bring. And we just want to have our eyes set on the Lord. You know? And that... His work would be done through us. This is a generation here on this earth, and this is our opportunity. For those that can hear and those that can see, and what I mean by that is those that have a relationship with the Lord. Those that are blind and those that are deaf and those that are lame are the ones who do not have a relationship with the Lord. Let me retract that because the Lord's showing me so much about all this and I'm really immature in it. And so I know it's not even right for me to share about all these things. The Lord's still having to convince me of certain things. But here's, here's, let me get to the point. So sorry. This was meant to be two or three minutes. Y'all know me. All right. So we've been learning and growing of him and we won't. To have a purpose in this world. And y'all we do. We do. We are vessels for the Lord. To accomplish his plans. Here in this earth. In this generation. You know. And we're not working. For any kind of gain. In this world. Any kind of gain for us. As far as our name. And our reputation. And our benefit but now it's time to lay everything aside and go on and let this other greatest command be fulfilled in us to love others as ourself to understand more and more what that means and to actually go and do it but there are things that hinder us from doing that and that's all right because we're all in a different place. The Lord knows where we're at. He is patient and kind. But that is why I would like to come together to address some of these things that might be holding us back. This may be the day for which you were created. 
and it's time to step into that greatest command. It's time to start reaping. And uh, the things I'll just be real brief about and finish up that I'm talking about are all the things that we can see that are fruits of the flesh. And we want to get over here to where we're more and more walking after the fruits of the Spirit and the ways of the Spirit. We're not going to be free from that struggle until we get to go home to be with the Lord. But more and more, we can see fruits that lead to everlasting life and that fruits that will others may come and take and eat of and be benefited, you know, such as arrogance and pride, such as jealousy, envy, such as uh, haughtiness, um, slander, discord, so many things like that. And um, in order to go and do what the Lord wants us to do, we have to dwell in His presence for a while, be trained and taught and disciplined of Him, being gently corrected, being changed and renewed in our thinking, um, so that insults, offense that comes at us, it doesn't move us, you know? It doesn't keep us from serving that person. You know, being patient and being faithful with the few that the Lord has brought to us. Because you have that view and I have that view and we all have that view though we might not have recognized it yet. You know? And and we want to be faithful with those few and listen to them and care, be compassionate, service and aid them in whatever way possible. That the Lord might add unto us more people that we can be a good example to and serve in love. And that is what the life will be about. I want to finish with this. When you get a group of people together, you're going to have so many different opinions come into one place. And there will be opportunities for strife, division, and discord. But y'all, for the sake of the work we've been called to do, and for the sake of loving Him with all our heart and imitating Him, we're going to lay aside every sin and weight that might encumber us and keep us bound up. And we are going to cling to what is good and gather around what we can agree on that we might be effective in our work. So that's what that's going to be about tomorrow night. I hope y'all can come. Everyone's welcome. Um, I think I have one guest, young guest that's coming. And remember, too, anybody that speaks or shares, y'all, this is real life, real people. And not everybody may measure up to where you're at, okay? But that's all right. We can learn. The Lord said he uses the foolish to shame the wise. We've got a lot to learn from these people that sometimes we think they're little in faith, they're misguided, they're in error, they don't know what they're talking about, if we will just listen. For the Lord speaks in many ways, but sometimes man doesn't recognize. 
So that's what it's going to be about. I hope y'all can come. Thank you for listening. I'm sorry it got so long. But um, just may the Lord be exalted and people feel welcome and accepted as we gather. I love y'all. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a good day.